before we go into looking at the gust butts the worst morning I have ever had I thought I was going to die or something I took my medication like Paul gives me normally and all of a sudden I couldn't breathe my heart started racing 10 to a dozen I just couldn't catch my breath I, I went downstairs I thought if I drink something maybe I could feel better you know I don't know a drink I spilled at me um, <clears throat> My heart was beating so fast, I really thought I was gonna, well, it was gonna come out of my chest. I told Paul quickly get an ambulance, and he got an ambulance. They said they'll be there very soon. With that, I was just like really trying to catch my breath, and uh, and he said not to breathe into a bag, but we didn't have one anyway, so we couldn't do that. And then I was like sick, and then I kind of caught my breath back a bit more, but. Yeah, and the ambulance come and check me out and they think that I had um, a panic attack, um, which I've never had like that before. I have anxiety attacks, but never like that. I don't know what that was. But I don't ever want it again. I thought that I wasn't, that I was going to end up dying and not being here. And it was awful. And if that's what panic attacks are, oh my God. I thought it was bad when I get an anxiety attack. That is just, ah. Oh. And like, as you can hear, my chest is quite sore. And Dora's having a good old cough as well, by the sounds of it, um, from all of the, um, yeah, kind of catch my breath. But, yeah, so I thought I'd let you know in case you thought or wondered why I wasn't looking the best. Um, so, anyway, cut these girls down. And now we're going on to what we've got. I've just received this, which is the Degusta box for July 2019. The Gusta box is a monthly subscription box which is for food and snacks and drinks and I really do enjoy it. I've tried a lot of things in there that I wouldn't necessarily go and try to the point that I, when I went to the um, allergy show they were advertising this new um, milk that we got the other uh, two months ago which was the Kobo um, fortified enriched milk which is absolutely lovely if you like coconut milk so yeah. So this is the box. I'm going to do that because you can see my dress otherwise. You open it up and it's like that. And it's sealed. It says eat, drink and enjoy me. And Dora thinks there's something for her to eat. Come and say hello guys. I did I cut their hair yesterday, so Billy's got like really short ears now. Come on, you wanna come say hello? Come on then. Come on then. There you go. Oh, this is Dodos. This is Dora, if anybody didn't know. See, she's, I don't know, her ears a little bit shorter. And Mummy cut some of your hair yesterday, but you didn't like it much, did you? And put Billy's in there. Billy! So, I mean, I don't know what's in there, so we we'll we can have a look together. We got some bump for about coffees and how to make lattes or whatever. We've got a couple of free in store, try for free in store, um, oh, claim four recipe kits for a pound, um, I've had these before, they were really good, and then this is the thing, and this is July, and it's picnic, and there's game on now, and what does it say, it doesn't say anything, but you know, right, so, first of all, I can see, is I can see, Mr. Free Tortilla Chips with Beetroot and Onion and these are our chips are to have strong flavours with the perfect snack that will that is a little extra keeps you coming back for more that's the Mr. Freed way Beetroot combined with corn base to provide a beautiful pinch <coughs> gluten-free and vegan and high in fibre. A triple threat. Very nice. 
I know they're worth one ninety nine. And then we've got some Callo Belgium milk chocolate rice cakes. I don't know what these are like because I, I eat these anyway. And they're a good alternative to apple biscuits or if you're on a low calorie diet as well. So they're 104 calories. And they're gluten free, artificial colouring, and vegetarian friendly. Um, yeah. So 199. And then we've got, oh, we've got yeah, Piri Piri Chicken. And it's three step cooking kit. Oh that's why that's why this was in it then. Okay, but I don't eat chicken but I can put that with um, some corn fillets or something. Which is really good. And this is worth two pounds fifty. So it's got um, step by step instructions. Um, and it's got the Piri Piri glaze, spicy wedge blend and saffron seasoning. Then we've got a bottle of, oh, Ribena Fusion with ki Kiri. With Kiri. Ki kiri. It's not Kiri. I just say Kiwi. Sorry, Kiwi. So this is Ribena Fusion, uh, refreshing, delicate black currant water, nationally uh, um, infused with real fruit, crafted botanicals, fusion containing sweetness, no sweetness, low in calories, and it's worth £2. Bear with me, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to be a really disgusting person and drink it from the bottle. Oh, it's it's not um it's not sparkly. Is it sparkly? Let's just see. No, but it doesn't taste really of anything. It's taste yeah, you can taste the kiwi. Yeah, you can you can taste the kiwi. And then we've got something wrapped up, which is oh it's a salsa to go with the chips. And this salsa is, oh, let's have a look, £1.50. Oh, it's pineapple and yu yuzu salsa. Oh, and this is um, make for make food boredom a thing of the past with this super tasting pineapple and yuzu salsa. This tangy relish will leave you taste buds feeling absolutely tropical. Well, there's my chip. Not enough to eat, so it looks like pineapple inside. Oh, that smells like piccadilly. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous! Good. And then we got two packets of randoms. So we've got squishums and then sour ones and I can't eat either because they've got gelatin in it. I think they have beef gelatin in because I can't eat them or can I? No. No. I don't think of them. I don't think they're um, vegetarian. That's a shame. I can't see because I haven't got my glasses on, so. I don't think they, I think, no, beef, no. So when it says gelatin, it means that's not. That's a shame, but Paul will like them. Well, he won't like the sale ones, but Lydia will like them, or I wouldn't to eat them. So they're worth 129 each. And then we've got some coconut bites from Ape. I've had these before, they're quite nice. I'm not going to open them. And these have got sesame seeds in them, and these are worth £1.49. Then we've got another bottle of Frank Hot's Original Cayenne, and this is £1.50. Frank Red Hot Original Cayenne Pepper. It's also made with premium blend of aged care. Looks very nice. I'm not opening that because I've already got some hot sauce on the go, so that looks really good. Then we've got a bottle of. Oh, we've got here, yeah, we've got a bottle of. Something Oh, butterscotch. Oh, nice. 
it's one of those ones. You know, I said to you the thing about making coffee. That's why we got that. So we've got this coffee you put into, um, like, um, what do you call it? Oh gosh, um, butterscotch um, flavored cappuccino, ice lattes, hot chocolate, and oh, very nice. I look forward to trying that. I know Paul would like that. And last of all, we've got some Greek style flatbreads. Perfect for kebabs. These look nice. Um, these are £1.35. Get the taste of soaked Mediterranean this summer with the deli um, new Greek style flatbreads. So, uh, so to Ian, we'll have a look through what we've got again. We've got the flatbreads. We've got the hot sauce. We've got the peri peri chicken thing. We've got the eight bites. We've got the butterscotch thing. We've got the randoms. Random randoms. We've got some chocolate um, rice cakes. We've got some really nice chip dip. We've got some Ribena. Have we got an empty pearl? No, that's it. Oh yes, and the chips. So that was this monster Gusta box. Well, there's a few things in here that I wouldn't naturally go and buy, and I would never have bought that salsa, and I quite like that. And yeah, well, I'm really enjoy. I should enjoy doing this, eating this. So thank you so much for joining me today. I'm sorry I'm not with it um, too much. Well, um, I'm not my usual self, but um, after not being able to catch my breath and not breathe this morning and heart racing I'm still a little bit but I wanted to do this for you and I've also been uploading the last video again that I did when it was the going to the podiatrist because I got slammed for being um, copyrighted because I used music I didn't realise I couldn't use that was on iMovie so there you go so in future it's going to be the normal music everybody plays on their videos so Thanks so much for joining us. I hope that everyone's having a good day and I hope everybody is having a good evening, good morning, good everything. And remember, what is it? It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. Until next time on Pink Poodle 2. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye. Good.